news this morning on the campaign trail. Could Republican candidate Mike Huckabee's remarkable surge in Iowa come to a stop because of action he took as governor of Arkansas? CBS News correspondent Joel Brown is live in Washington with the story. Joel, what's going on? Harry, this is no doubt a story Mike Huckabee wishes would just go away as governor of Arkansas. He apparently used his influence to help free a man from prison, a man convicted of rape. But the Huffington Post reports that the way it unfolded back then is not exactly how Huckabee portrays it now on the campaign trail. That shouldn't be. As governor of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee pushed for the parole of convicted rapist Wayne Dumond, despite warnings that the man would likely strike again if released. Dumont was paroled from an Arkansas prison in 1999. He moved to Missouri, where he later raped and murdered 39-year-old Carol Sue Shields and another Missouri woman, Sarah Androsik. Dumont was convicted of Shields' murder and sentenced to life in prison. On the campaign trail, Huckabee has said that he supported Dumont's release because he had no reason to believe the man constituted a future threat. Just last week, Huckabee told CNN none of us could have predicted what he could have done when he got out. But in a letter just released, one of Dumont's victims warned, I feel that if he is released, it is only a matter of time before he commits another crime and fear that he will not leave a witness to testify against him the next time. Wayne Dumont died in prison September 1st, 2005. A woman he attacked more than 20 years ago in Arkansas says she met with Governor Huckabee to try to persuade his decision. But it was clear at that time that Governor had already made up his mind. Harry? All right, thanks very much, Joel Brown in Washington. Ahead in our next half hour, we'll have an exclusive interview with the mother of one of Wayne DeMond's victims who says she is vowing to do whatever it takes to stop Huckabee from winning the election. We'll have that more on that in the next half hour. First, though, let's go over to...